All right, guys, here we are. We're going to do the trolling motor spot lock test. Now, what I've got is, I've got some buoys. The way we're going to do this is this. This is the only way I know how to do this test. I've been thinking about it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, three different series of this test. I'm going to do a, a steel where I'm sitting steel like I am now. I'm going to hit spot lock, drop the button, hold the remote up where you can see the distance from spot lock. Then the next one will be, I'll put it on medium speed, say three or four. I'll be going forward. And as soon as I hit the spot lock, I'm gonna drop the buoy out of the side of the boat, try to pick up the remote where you can see how far we went past uh, the spot lock setting where I hit the button actually. And then I'm going to, uh, we're going to monitor what happens, how far it comes back and then goes forward. We're going to monitor all that. Then I'm going to do uh, a fast setting. We're going to do the same things in a fast setting. So let's go. Now I'm using the remote. That way you can see, see if we can figure out. That way you can see on there. There it is. You'll be able to see on there. It'll tell you how far from the original. As soon as you hit the button, it logs in a spot and it'll tell you how far it is from it. So let's go. All right, I'm going to turn into the wind. I'm going to make sure my motor's straight. There's no pull. If you notice something missing off the back, I sold the power poles. Just don't use them. Um, they're just, just don't use them. But I've got something new coming for the channel here in a few days. I think y'all are going to enjoy it. Some of y'all will. Some of y'all won't. But it'll be good comparison videos. And it's going to add a little something to the boat, a little something to the channel. All right, so let me get steel here. Let me get steel. This is important that we get steel. All right. As of right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw. We're in 17 foot of water. I'm going to hit the. I'm going to hit the spot lock, and I'm going to throw out in front the buoy. Spot lock. There's the buoy, and it says right here. I've drifted about a foot, and you can tell I've went up a little bit. But remember, I have my gain on one. Let's see. It's adjusting. There I am. I'm pretty close. I didn't see the 15 foot kick back there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up. I'm going to leave the buoy. I'm going to leave the buoy instead of throwing the buoy every time. I'm just going to leave the buoy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go by the buoy. I'm going to go by the buoy. And when I get to the buoy, the moment I get to the buoy, I'm going to hit the spot lock. We'll have that on camera. So I'll say, as I've drifted, here we go. About 15 feet. All right, I'm going to turn it up to halfway position. Here we go. Ooh, got a little pop into it. Here we go. And I'm actually going to hit the spot lock button on the remote. That way I can be more accurate with it. Try to get just to the left of this where I don't hit it on the way by. I'm going to hit the spot lock button now. All right. Here we go. The spot lock is four foot behind us, eight foot behind us, ten foot. It took about ten foot for it to turn around. All right, let's see what happens here. I hit the button just prior to it. Let's see what happens. Okay. There is some of the problem that people have complained about it backing up a little bit. And let's see, let's see, does it gather back to the spot? That's the most important thing. Does it gather back to the spot? And it shows the four, about four foot ahead, three foot ahead, two foot ahead. I'm trying to keep everything in view here, even though it may not all be perfectly pretty good. I hit the button real close to that area. Good. So here's what I'm going to do. I am, it did drift back. Um, where I hit the button was just shy of the buoy. And so let's see if I can get that buoy to ooh, focus. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. Ooh, that would have been a funny video. I fell slap in the water. All right. I think I have an, a, 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 an idea as to why it's doing what it's doing. And I may be able to fix this. But first, let's get it going. We're going to put it in. We're going to put it in higher. Ooh, 
It is smoking high. Here we go. Ooh, we're going now. We're going. I got the prop on 20. And when I get there to the buoy, I'm, gonna get, I'm going fast. I get there to the buoy. Spotlight. All right. Here we go. I'm drifting. It's taking a second for it to slow down. But I was going pretty fast. I was going about three and a half miles an hour. You can see that big wash. It's it's doing its best to get back there. I promise you. All right. There's our marker. And let's see. I have a I have a theory. There it is. Let's see if it goes back. Is it adjusted back? It didn't go real. It didn't go quite as far that time. It didn't go quite as far past. All right. There we are. Pretty good accuracy wise. All right. So let me make one adjustment. And if I don't make an adjustment, I'll let you know that I don't. But I want to see if there's some possibility. But there, there we are. We're about. Uh, let's see if I can get it on there. We're money. So there's the adjustment. Pretty good. Now it's locked in. There ain't much wind. Pretty good conditions to do this test. All right. I tried to do a little research before I can make the comment and make the adjustment. There's not a way to adjust uh, what I was thinking. My theory is this as to why it does this. Now, it didn't do it sitting still. As you were moving, it did back up some. And as I was moving fast, it took a second each time to slow up, back up, and it did always go past the point and then come back into it. Now, I've done, I've never had the backup when I'm sitting still. I have seen the backup when I'm moving where it stops, backs up, and then comes back into it. My theory is that it's, um, in order to right itself from the direction it's going, is that it like I said, by the time it, you hit the spotlight button time, it stops and then comes back. I think it's got a little bit to do with GPS refresh rate. And I wonder if the refresh rate inside of the uh, uh, the GPS on top of the heads is maybe a little bit slower than, say, inside the fish finders. Uh, the fish finders, as you know, the GPS receiver inside the head is a lot smaller. Not Probably not as high tech and as... Uh, uh, you know, it's got as much uh, hardware in it than, than I would say that's inside these fish finders. These fish finders can get down to about, you know, we, we've talked about this before. Yes, they can get down to micro inches, but we don't have those kind of systems in place. Uh, most of them are anywhere from 5 to 10 foot. Um, mine right then said 9.8 foot of, on my fish finder, said 9.8 foot of GPS error. So you got a 9.8 foot. But I do see the going back beyond it. Now, I haven't seen that when I'm still. So, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And, uh, you know, hit the bell. The channel's getting big.